again. Do you want to start this one off? Um, sure, Mr. President. Um, it's really important for Fiji um, to you know, participate in giving back to the community. Um, it gives us an understanding that uh, we're helping we're helping out and supporting things, you know, something that's bigger than ourselves. Um, you know, fraternity is always important to you know, keep things internally. Um, but as a whole, it's always important to give back um, and make a difference in the community. She gives back to the community uh, in several ways. Um, we've had philanthropic fundraisers. We've raised over $5,000 for a, a little girl in Make-A-Wish Foundation. And on top of that, uh, we do regular blood drives and a lot of brothers go to Mexico a couple times a semester on service trips or just in here in our San Diego community get involved to go help at a soup kitchen and whatnot. Being part of a fraternity is being uh, being part of something greater than yourself. So when you talk about you know being a future, we talk about, about brotherhood. Hey, That's something that I kind of noticed about us a lot different from some of the other fraternities on campus. Um, and that's what I really love about us. I mean, you can walk in a room and there will be the youngest guy in there and the oldest guy in there will have just as good chemistry as any other guy um, in that room. And that's something that I really cherish and I think that in the future, kind of passing that down, we need to continue that type of environment and culture within the future. Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of uneducated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are a bit of Calvin Coolidge. Fiji was born here uh, in November of 2011. On November 10th, 2011, we actually had our colonization ceremony here at USD. So basically, how it came together was there was 42 guys in our alpha class that really um, didn't see themselves as a typical fraternity man or didn't really know what it meant to be in a fraternity or to be a Greek member. So coming here to USD, um, we have now grown to over 73 brothers, and I think we've all really realized what it means to be not only a member of Fraternity Phi Gamma Delta, but also a Greek man here on this campus at USD. I don't think people really understand like the hardships that we went through. I mean, if you think about it in the very beginning, um, we were thrown into a room with 40 guys strong, and uh, we had to elect a president, social chairs, uh, recruitment chairs, and with people we didn't even really know that well. Um, we were reading a pamphlet telling us what like the positions were, so nobody even knew what uh, a recording secretary was compared to a corresponding secretary. So uh, some of the challenges people don't even know about are tough being an alpha class member. The main ones was when we started, none of us had really been in a fraternity before, so we didn't really have any idea of how things were supposed to be run or kind of the general direction of it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, when we started, for whatever reason, we didn't have a ton of support from the outside. And so thankfully we were able to kind of rise above that, I think, and continue. But we ran into some issues with um, events and campus and different things and parties and stuff like that but I feel like we've kind of all gotten that over that now and I think that that's evident by the fact that we're finally chartering which has kind of been the end goal that we've all been reaching for but really been unable to attain for much too long. What, what's your name? Tyler. Where are you going? Fiji. 
Fiji is special to me, I think just based on the people that we have. I feel like we have um, such a diverse group of guys that really there's just something for everyone and there's always new people and new experiences and stories that you're uh, really able to listen to and hear and get to know people that you wouldn't necessarily get to know otherwise. To me being a Fiji brother is about joining a brotherhood of men and surrounding yourself with great men that help you to be the best that you can be and holding each other to high standards. Being a Fiji brother means a lot of things. Um, I think one simply is that all my brothers on a day-to-day -day basis challenge me to be um, a better person. I, I wouldn't be the guy who I am today, the leader who I am today, um, the brother who I am today had I not had this experience through Fiji. So I think you know part of being a brother on the day-to-day -day basis of Phi Gamma Delta um, is being able to go up to guys and know that they're unconditionally there to support you. What I have to say um, makes Fiji unique is probably how diverse our fraternity is. Um, I mean, there's every group of guy. And you could say that about a lot of fraternities, it's a diverse group of gentlemen, but I feel like when you come to this campus and you were to ask, say, a girl in a sorority, um, you know, uh, if you could use one adjective to describe um, each fraternity, what would it be? And I feel like the other fraternities, it's really easy to typecast them and stereotype them for mm -hmm. the group they are. And uh, I feel for us, what's so cool is, like, if you went around and asked somebody, they'd have to sit and think because you know we're such a di diverse group of personalities, um, especially how public we are uh, on campus and how well known we are. People don't know us for one thing, people know us for very different things. You know, we have football players, we have a basketball player, we have guys who are on um, the panel in a council or interfraternal councils, and we have guys who are president of Rotary Club or doing their own startups. What makes Fiji unique is that we go out there and when we're looking for, for new guys, new members to come in, we're not looking for, for guys that we're, we want to change and, and make them something they're not. We're looking for people that are unique in their own way and that are really going to be able to come together using our values and really just make a great group that everyone's going to be able to get along great and, and help each other out whenever necessary. Yeah, and that being said, I mean, we all bring something different to the table. Um, unintentionally, I would say that we avoid the um, cookie cutter concept when it comes to fraternity. We're all different people, but we all cohesively come together and form Fiji. Hey, tell us your best Fiji story. Uh, a good Fiji story that happened recently was uh, in the uh, hotly debated re-elections for AS president in which uh, our buddy Dom Para actually ended up winning. Um, myself, Chris Barrett, Zach Devaney, and Dan Colombo were sitting in our living room and uh, we happened to get the news about a half hour before the rest of our brothers did and when we heard it, we absolutely lost it. I mean, I, I threw my full water everywhere over the room. Dan threw his phone. 
Zach and Chris were punching people, and it really just goes to show um, how much we rallied behind our brother, and when we came together, what we were uh, able to accomplish. Who's the biggest goofball? Dan Colombo. Dan Colombo. Dan Colombo. Dan Colombo. Lieutenant Dan Colombo. Colombo. <laughs> Dan Colombo. <Dan> oh <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was a guy. No idea. Did I didn't know. I didn't know. I'll be happy. Uh, come ready for that one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Who's the biggest goofball? Mitch Nichols. So um, here at USD Fiji, um, we've had the opportunity to create our own traditions, being a being a colony uh, and and founding fathers. Um, so. The first obstacle we had to come up, overcome was the fact that we didn't have a chapter house, which makes it very difficult to um, kind of live the history of, of Phi Gamma Delta. Um, so we did that in three ways. The first being um, we created some Fiji letters. These Fiji letters we took a lot of, put a lot of effort into, um, and we used some of our engineering, engineering students to make them perfect. And wherever we bring these, uh, these letters, it becomes our house. Um, so we bring them to our different events, we bring them to the beach where we hang out, uh, we bring them to our philanthropies, and that is our home base for the time being. Um, number two, and something that I thought was very important to um, our formal meetings, was the creation of a ritual box. So this ritual box we bought on, or I bought on Craigslist for uh, 30 bucks, and um, we painted it um, with the Fiji diamond on the top, and um, some key phrases on the inside. And uh, we use it to house all our different ritual items that we use during our um, formal meetings. One of the traditions we've started includes the oh, getting a lot of brothers to go out to Relay for Life. It's a good time, we get a lot of the brothers and it's kind of like a, a brotherhood event actually. Some of the guys will spit, stay overnight in one of the tents, and we'll play some sports, play some catch. But it's a good just event for the guys to be involved with because we end up raising a lot of money and it's just a lot of fun for us to hang out and get to know each other. And then for philanthropy, we've also started the Over the Line. So that's like a softball type game that we've been doing with AKO. It's the first year we did it uh, a couple weeks ago. It's a lot of fun. And then my favorite tradition is actually Fiji Flowers for Finals. So all the guys will dress up in suits and then we'll go to the various libraries and places where people study on campus right before finals and we'll pass out flowers with a little note saying good luck to all the girls. So it's just a good time, it makes the girls happy and it's a, it's a fun time for all the boys to hang out.